Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Candace here today with the Produce Moms. Hey, if you can hear us, give us a heart or a like. Great. Thank you so much. Well, welcome back to the Produce Mom Live. This is episode six. Can you believe that? We are cooking up something delicious for you guys today. We've got sauteed Brussels sprouts with apples and we're going to do an apple dip with ricotta cheese. You guys, it's going to be so good. So what we're going to do today is get started with our first recipe, which is our sauteed Brussels sprouts with apples. We've got some bacon. We've got a little bit of lemon juice. We've got some thyme. This is a delicious recipe that'll pair perfect with a roasted chicken or maybe a salad, something delicious and spring-like. So let's get started, okay? So I've got a skillet that I've heated up already. And before we went live, we cooked up some bacon, about four strips, and we've got, we've got that reserved over here. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. So I've heated up my skillet, right? I'm gonna pour in about a tablespoon of bacon grease. We reserved some of that from the four strips of bacon that we cooked this morning. Let's get that in there. All right. And you guys know how much I love bacon, so the more bacon, the merrier. And we've got our Brussels sprouts. Now what we did with these, we parboiled those a little bit just to get them a little tender because we're going to saute them off um, and they look delicious. They smell delicious. So I want you to know that just parboil them and let them get tender and we're going to see that. And those look delicious. Okay, so let's start out with our onion. It's one onion and it's chopped. It's definitely not a Sunion's onion. <laughs> I can smell it and feel those vapors. Let's get that sauteed. There we go. There we go. Fill the fire. We're going to get that sauteed. And while that's cooking, we are going to chop up our Apples, Brussels sprouts and apples. What a perfect way to get fresh produce into your diet. So we've got two delicious apples here right here. And while I have you here, we're giving away an apple core. So comment the word sweet, leave that in our comments and you'll be entered to win, okay? So here we go. Let's core this apple. You guys definitely need some arm strength. Ooh. I tell you, you got to be strong to be a produce mom. There we go. All right. Look at that beautiful apple. Okay. Pulls that core right out. All right. So what we're going to do is core that up. We're going to just dice it up really nicely. Again, we've got another tasty recipe. I can smell those onions. And that's two apples for this recipe. Check on our onions. They smell delicious with that bacon fat. Christy has a question. Hi, Christy. What kind of apples should I use for this recipe? Does it matter? It does. So we've got Fuji apples today. These are great crisp apples that'll pair well with the flavors of the Brussels sprouts. All 
All right. And we're going to go with one apple today. Here we are. Got them all diced up. That core will be a good friend with you too. Okay, so we're going to get those in with our onions. Onions, apples, and Brussels sprouts. I tell you. It smells delicious. So we're going to saute those and let those get soft. All right, so you know I always like to say we season. So we've got some salt. Because bland food won't prosper. You know you got to season if I'm cooking. And we've got some sprigs of fresh thyme and we've got some black pepper. Oh, you guys, those apples are getting soft. It's going to be so delicious. And here's the cool trick with thyme. So if you're using sprigs of thyme and you want to get the leaves off, run your finger down. Gets it off really easy. One fell swoop. There you go. Look at that. Adam has a question, Candace. Hi, Adam. What temperature should you cook this at? Okay, so this is on about medium high heat right now. Mmm, that smells so good. Thank you for asking that question, Adam. I appreciate it. All right. Sandy has a question. Hi, Sandy. Are Brussels sprouts seasonal? They are seasonal. Um, right now, you're going to see fresh Brussels sprouts coming into the, the produce section, but they also have them in the prepared section in your local grocery store. And you can also get them in the freezer section year round. So fresh Brussels sprouts are, are seasonal, but you can also find them in the, fro in the produce section in the frozen area. All right, those apples are getting soft. Oh, that smells so good with that thyme. Thyme is a perfect addition to this recipe. So now we're going to add in our bacon and our Brussels sprouts. Look at those. That looks so good. We've got bacon. I'm going to saute this all together. And then we're going to add in our lemon juice. That lemon juice is the perfect asset for this recipe. It adds a little bit of brightness that I think you'll enjoy. And that's about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And we'll get the recipe pared down in, in the comments so you can watch for it. All right, guys, so while this is cooking, we're going to show you guys how to make a delicious apple dip. All right. Okay. So we've got a quick and easy apple dip that you can make for you and your family. We've got two delicious apples and about eight ounces of ricotta cheese and some balsamic vinegar. All of these flavors are going to mesh well together and perfect to dip your apples in. Anything to get you eating fresh vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to use my core again. It comes in handy. And like I said, you got to be strong to be a produce mom. So I'm going to push this down. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. That's a big apple, you guys. It's huge. But it's crisp and it smells delicious. Ooh, we're stuck in here, guys. There we go. 
It didn't want to come out. All right, so we've got our fresh apple. We've got eight ounces of ricotta cheese. Gonna add in here. Push that down. And this recipe calls for a Granny Smith apple and a Honeycrisp apple. I'm gonna add in this balsamic vinegar. Anita asks, is that one pound of sprouts? Yes, that's about a pound and a half of sprouts. Gonna mix this in. You've got the sweet and savory going with this apple dip. It's really easy. Just two ingredients. Mix it all in until it's well combined. We've got an easy apple dip for you and your family. Okay guys, so here's our dip. Really simple, eight ounces of ricotta cheese and we've got some balsamic vinegar mixed in. And it's perfect to dip in with your apples. I think I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's delicious. This is gonna be something I know my four year old's gonna love. Anytime you get kids dipping something, they'll love it. If you make it small and let them dip it, they will love it, I promise you. Mmm, we'll definitely have to link this recipe for you guys as well. So we'll just pair this up. with our apples. Core this other Granny Smith. Ashley asks, how much vinegar did you use in the dip? So it's about four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, Ashley. Thank you. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have strong arms with this apple core today. And it's four teaspoons, actually, my correction. Well, apple core, I can just slice them up. How about that? But let's check on our recipe, okay? Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Again, we've got Brussels sprouts, apples, onions, lemon juice, and thyme. This is a recipe that I know you're going to love. And who doesn't like bacon? All right, you guys, I think it's time to plate this up. Look at that. All right. Here we are with a delicious recipe of Brussels sprouts with sauteed apples and bacon. I'm gonna taste it. I wanna get a piece of everything. The bacon, the Brussels sprouts, the onion. great substitute it's not necessarily going to give you the same flavor but chicken broth is a good substitute if you don't eat pork thank you for that question okay guys so here we are with our sauteed brussels sprouts and apples with bacon 
tasty recipe, easy for you and your family. I hope you guys will make it. And don't forget, join us here every Friday. Like us and follow us to find out more videos like this one. We'd love to hear what you all are doing. We thank you for watching and we hope that you'll see us next week.